For the barrier she broke, the Congress awarded her the Distinguished Flying Cross, the first woman in American history to receive this prestigious honor. For her extraordinary feats, reporters in the t at the time called her the Queen of the Air. But not only was she an outstanding aviator, but she had a strong moral compass as an outspoken champion for gender equality. Amelia envisioned aviation as a great equalizer, and she fought valiantly to close the gender gap when girls and boys come to the Capitol and see Amelia, they will visit here and set their sights higher, knowing too that they can reach for the sky. And when they see this statue, when it's quiet here in the Capitol, they will hear the sound of wings. 85 years after she vanished, Amelia Earhart still inspires us. Her legacy encourages us to pursue our dreams and shoot for the stars. And I'm proud to say that Americans are still exploring new frontiers. I believe if Amelia Earhart was alive today, she would not be just in the sky. She'd probably be up in space. Both literally and figuratively, Amelia Earhart blazed a trail into the sky. In every sense, she occupied rarefied air. But she did not just soar over as one person. She also focused on putting down new ladders of opportunity so that others could follow. Amelia Earhart helped inspire and shepherd whole generations of aviators, both women and men. So it is fitting today we're dedicating a statue in honor of one of the most notable of our pioneering women. Let it be an inspiration for all, particularly our young girls, for generations to come. Let them stare up at this work of art and think that they, like Amelia, can dream the impossible dream.